everybody, how you doing? So what I want to show you is the basic setup of my moto vlogging gear. So I'm not going to show you any of my motorcycle gear as such, just how I set up my camera and my mic in my helmet and what helmet that I use. Because I know with helmets it can make a big difference in wind noise and sound and everything else. So first of all, here's the camera that I use. It's a GoPro 4 Silver. Not black, nothing special, just the basic model really. And I've had that now for just over a year. I honestly don't think you need to spend all that many on the most advanced camera out there. Just something like that, or even the GoPro Hero 3. Because the camera quality of those cameras are still brilliant. Even for today's standards, because you're never ever going to use 4K. Now the only real advantage that they have is the frames per second which means you're going to be able to do more slow motion, which, as of yet, I've never really done. So don't go crazy, don't be spending all that money on the most advanced camera you can get, because you're just wasting your money. Instead, I would actually spend the money on the mic or actually the helmet, because there's still a lot of motor vloggers out there that even though they used not the most advanced cameras, they still do some great content. And that's the main thing what it's all about. It's about the content creation. People don't watch you because you've got the most advanced camera, bike or whatever else. They watch you because of you. So if you haven't got you, then you've really got nothing at all. But on that note, that doesn't mean you shouldn't put effort into making your audio quality brilliant and also your visual quality brilliant as well. So I'm just going to show you my helmet now and I've had this helmet, oh god, almost about two years now. And it's been a great helmet. It does let a lot of wind noise in, I'm not going to lie. But here it is guys. Okay, so what we have here is... A slightly modified Shox helmet. Now, I got this helmet from eBay, so it didn't cost me much at all. I think it was about £40 at the time. So, not long ago, I decided I'd stick a bomb it as well, because why not? Unfortunately, now I've used pretty much all these stickers on this helmet, so I have none of these stickers left. Which is a bit of a shame, but I think it's definitely worth it. It looks amazing, from my opinion, anyway. So I've got the tinted visor as well, and it's seen better days. I probably should replace it. So this is where I have my GoPro mounted, right at the chin. I've had to take the vent out, and then I've uh, used adhesive to kind of glue it down. This is the problem that I have found with chin mounts. It's very awkward to place. Now I've been through so many different mounts. I've had it on the side, I've had it on here, I've had the GoPro to the side, and I've always preferred it on the front. I think it gives you a great coverage of what you want to see. And how I describe it is that, well, hang on, let me just show you a second. Why I like the chin mount so much is because you've got three sections. Okay, so you've got the ground section, you've got the center section, and then you've got the sky up here. I don't know if you can actually see that, but this is what I like about it. It gives you a good coverage of everything that really is what you're looking at in real life. It's as realistic as it possibly can be. Whereas if it's on the side, you're getting a picture of the helmet and then you can't really see what's over on that left hand side unless they turn. And I don't really like it when I see a video like that. I like to see everything that's going on. So here's how it looks with the GoPro on the front. Now, as you can see, I think even if I blacked it out, you probably wouldn't be able to notice it at all when I'm riding. So as for the mic, I use a Boya lapel mic. And as you can see, I have it wrapped around the helmet like so. I just loop it and then I have like taped it to here. So I ended up getting this windshield. Um, it doesn't really make much difference. So um, I wouldn't suggest going all out and buying one. They already come with the little GoPro port. So, you don't have to spend any more money in getting these. And they're only about... When I got this, it was about £20, this Boyer mic, altogether. And the sound quality, as you can tell, is pretty good for it. Um, I have had issues in the past, because I've, I've gone through about three of these now, where it ends up kind of tearing at here over time. But that's after like nine or ten months of riding in all kinds of weathers. Now I usually don't ride in the wet anymore while filming because it never makes for good footage. You always get droplets of rain and it's just 
always miserable. I don't know, it makes the kind of ride more miserable as well. But for me, I've always liked this setup and I probably will keep it forever more now. Now, I'm guessing a lot of people are going to be asking where I got the mic from now. When I did buy it, it was from eBay, but I think also Amazon sell them as well. So if you check on there and type in Boya lapel mic, then it should come up. So yeah, guys, anyway, that has been my setup of my GoPro for my motor vlogging. Uh, if you have any other questions about it or you need any advice on it, then please put down in the comments below. The reason I did this is because I got asked what my setup is like. So for those who actually want to know, then now you know. And yeah, just don't be afraid to ask anything down in the comments because I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you very much. So guys, once again, please like, subscribe, and also press that bell end to give you any more notifications of my videos. I really do appreciate the support that you've all given me. Uh, it's been amazing so far. I'll see you again very soon.